Alrighty. Let's play this here. Uh, <laughs> like that end. That is your sit down assignment. It's definitely a fun way of doing this. So my thoughts would be I think it's okay. I wonder if you can start maybe here. I don't know if you need all of these. Was your one, two, three. It's nice on threes, but it's also kind of long. I don't know if you need it because it's it's a repetitive move. And I wonder if you can just do you landing on this here, right? So imagine it's just maybe you land on one. Maybe here. Like you could even start, you know, something here. What? Yep. Uh, even this could be. Tick, tick, doom. Like take one step out and jump sooner. I know this gets into very subjective land here, but that's it's just my main impression. It's a bit repetitive here. That goes on for a bit long. Just in terms of just repetitiveness. So yeah, if I be super picky, it would be like maybe starting. Like I said, maybe here. Whoop, and then that there. Whoa. But you are right around there. Oh, yeah, super, super picky. Now in terms of mechanics, watch out. You have a really fast move here in its current stepped progression here. Which is really tricky because there's nothing really that will push that character this way. It might push off with a little bit of forward and up. But it's such a on one leg hop. There's not that much strength and momentum to suddenly have that. If you spline this, this drop here, that section, especially from here to here, feels really fast. So I'm gonna have some more breakdown and slow this down a bit more. And then watch out, after that, you have a turn where you're initiating a jump like this. Let's put some onion skin in here. But then your jump is a bit high, straight. Careful, careful with that. I mean, you might argue maybe that leg could stop it, but then I wouldn't have that leg, you know, a bit out more this way. I'm just curious how that's going to feel. Whereas you have some sudden acceleration, and then even if you keep this, someone make this work, then this would stand out even more. You would then think you'll be even more forward screen left momentum. Because after that, once you're in the air here, and you land, there's still quite the arc. But then this feels, you know what I mean? You're going up here. Where's the next key to this? It just feels a bit wonky. It could work. I'm just, I'm just a bit concerned just about that moment. But I think once you flesh it out, I think it's not hard to fix to me. It's just a little arc adjustment. This is maybe a bit strong. I like that you have that impact that curves. But I think your recovery there with this doom, will also feel a bit fast, especially how fast she stops. For someone that's like this bouncy, right? Dun, 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 playful and everything. It also, I feel like she would end on something else. Not just here, rotate down, then rotate back up, same axes. But she would land and be maybe here. Hey, hold on to this, you know, one leg up here, maybe, you know, like this, there's a playfulness in terms of the acting and personality here. That's kind of weirdly suddenly missing once she sits down or, you know, hops down and goes up into that. So it's not really a mechanical note, but more something in terms of posing and character. Let's pretend you do want to keep the three hops. Let's just check here. So you're always at the same height. So it could also be something where at least you would change it to whoop, way, up, 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 or something like that in terms of hop, hop, bigger hop, one leg, one leg, jump, land. So you have to kind of look at that rhythm as well. So that there's just a bit more contrast and, and less repetitiveness to it. And that's mainly that. It's still in rough form. So, I mean, that's these are my biggest things. Um, the next thing you could do, whatever you're going to change, you kind of look at silhouette. So you don't have those overlapping moments. You might as well have a nice clean shape there in terms of what the legs are doing. Even on like passing poses like these, but that's not tangent right there. You could have, even if it's overlapping, you would have something like that. I would just look at moments like these. Gets a bit crowded with those arms. It's not too bad though. And then yeah, mainly mechanics and timing for this section.
All right. And that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.